And uh, your thoughts on uh, what has turned out result-wise a disappointing 1-0 defeat here to Burton, but performance-wise, I would think you're happy with the second half or not? Yeah, I was, I was pleased with the first half. Away team there on a high new manager coming. Away team, I thought it was good for 90 minutes. Um, conceded a goal from a corner, which we don't do. Um, to be fair to Jonathan Smith, he's put his hand up, he just lost the runner. Other than that, I mean, had a good chance at the end when we're throwing things forward, but we've done everything we can to win the game today. I was really pleased with how we played, really pleased with the application, disappointed with the result, but I'll be disappointed again sometime this season, I'm sure. I mean, it was an early chance for Luke Guttridge. We know he can hit them from range, but he caught a few, didn't he, from yeah. Paul Benson's header down, and the keeper's made a great save. And the keeper really was the, the stumbling block for Luton. Yeah, afternoon. keeper done well, but listen, that's what he's there to do. I don't mind about that. You know, look at my own team. Um, all over the pitch, I thought everybody, subs come on and done well. Um, and I thought probably the last, I don't know, 20 minutes, we just carried the game, just waiting for a chance to fall to somebody, waiting for something to happen. Um, but as I said, I think for the 90 minutes, I'm not disappointed with how we played. I was quite pleased. I think this is, I think we've played for the away team against a good side. I thought we played really, really well. I mean, you've talked about waiting for the chance there. There just wasn't shots on target in the end, was there? There was just so many cross, bodies. crosses in the box, but just not the efforts on goal. Um, yeah, to, uh, you know, a lot, lot of bodies in the box. You know, fair play to them. Um, the keeper made, I think, a, a decent slave down to his his left hand side here. Um, but it was chances were few and far between, as I say, because the, 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 you know we forced them back. I think so much there wasn't a lot of space. You know, just needed a little bit of craft, maybe. And you mentioned um, Mark Tyler in the week, 250 appearances for him this afternoon. Mm. I mean, he's not had an awful lot to do. Has he a quiet game and he's no. not got the clean sheet he deserved? No, absolutely. But listen, this is football, and um, you know I'm not unrealistic enough to think that we're going to just go and blow teams away every week. I know that because we're playing hello, hello. good teams, but. You know, for playing one of the teams that are up there with us, I think the performance, you know, I've got no complaints with it, I'm not, none at all, to be honest. Did you have any complaints with any decisions from the officials? Loads, but referees have to make decisions and, um, you know, sometimes they go for you, sometimes they don't, so I'm not going to criticise the ref. I mean, a few penalty appeals perhaps out there today? A definite penalty, but no, even the fourth next to us, definite penalty. But we didn't get it, so I'm not going to mind about it. Which one would you like to refer to as being? Well, the first half, when I pulled back Luke Wilkinson, 100%. 100%, uh, but we didn't get it, so I can't remember. And team selection, a couple of changes today. Just talk to us about the introduction of, um, or the, of Sean Wally coming in and Mark Cullen missing out. Yeah, Cully's been injured. He hasn't trained this week. Trained on Friday. And, you know, I, I, you know, I think it's important that people play. He's probably, you know, injury-free. He hasn't trained this week. So we, we, we didn't do that. Uh, Sean's been electric. Sean's been on fire in training, been on fire in games. And I'll be honest, I thought it was a handful today. He looked really, really good. But he has looked, but he has looked that way for, you know, a couple of weeks. He has, and you know, deserved his opportunity today. And I thought we took it. And with him coming in, that was the change in formation as well. With Scott Griffiths coming back at left back. Yeah, because we went back to a four today, which I was, we, we was well comfortable with. You know, I think the whole of the game we was well comfortable with with, with our defensive side. But we are, we, we know we're comfortable with that, so it wasn't a problem. And we've mentioned Luke Wilkinson there, a disappointment right at the very end, a red card for a foul on the far side of the field. I thought he was stupid, didn't have to foul. Bella got through in a wide area, still had a bit to do. But the emotion of the game takes over sometimes, but um, I've got no complaints with him enough. You feel it was a straight red card? Yeah, I'll give him a red card. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we, you know, the long unbeaten run comes to an end. You're pleased with the performance. One of those days where we just couldn't find the back of the net, but a time to move on and look at the next game now. Yeah, you know, listen, you know, if, if, if you're playing poorly, if you're not doing well enough, if play, players' form isn't good, you look at it and, you know, you start to analyse it. Maybe too much, but I don't think, for, I, don't think I can look at too many things about our game today. I'm sure when I see the DVD, things will come up, but... Not too much about our game. The away team against a good side with a little bit of hype because the new manager's come in, which I understand. I thought we controlled large parts of the first half. I thought we'd done the great job for the away team in the first half because I thought we silenced the crowd. We, you know, we kept the ball very, very well. I thought we played some, some reasonable football. Mark hasn't really had anything to do. Uh, second half, take the goal away. Mark's had nothing to do. And, uh, you know, I thought that the ascendancy was with us. But... You know, they're, they're a good side and they're, they're, you know, they've won. Good luck to them. But I'm not disappointed with my team. In fact, if I look at the game that's played, 
I think I'd be more happy with my team than perhaps Jimmy would be with his team. That's how I feel it. You know, and I'm not talking for him, but uh, you know, I'm pleased with how we played, the intensity that we played with. We never, we never gave him. We kept going. Everyone really trying as hard as they can, and just waiting for that opportunity to come that didn't quite come. But there you are.